Hey guys, welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So, uh, Meatloaf 78, we're working on here. Uh, I got a few cool things and a little announcement also. Um, we'll start with the uh, uh, easy stuff. So, I bought a tool off uh, eBay that we're going to check out. We'll do this test drive it in the mill. Um, it's kind of a strange type of edge finder. Um, take a look at that. Um, I picked up a big order um, that I made with Seaport Stainless. They did a bunch of laser cutting for me for several projects around here. So we'll take a look at some of those bits that came back. Um, some kind of interesting stuff, so we'll uh, scope it out and it kind of ties some projects together. So we'll look at those. Um, what else? Um, okay, so announcement. It's uh, Open Studios time of year coming up here, so this is not the official announcement. I'll, it'll be a separate standalone video, but um, coming up soon in le less than a month, uh, the Ox Tool Shop is going to be open and uh, local folks uh, can come by and visit. Uh, it's the yearly Open Studios event, and uh, like I said, I'll have a separate video because I got some other stuff that kind of goes with it and uh, it'll be an official announcement. I'm just giving you guys a little sneak preview. Okay, so uh, that's coming up and uh, so that should be fun. Um, guys can come and visit the shop and uh, check things out and see things in person and uh, take pictures and do all that fun stuff. So, uh, let's see, what else? I don't know. Let's go cruise around the shop and see what else, what trouble we can get into and, uh, and see what we can find. Let's go look. Okay, so here's uh, the edge finder that I mentioned that I, that I got. And this, this came from eBay. Um, and I was looking for a particular type of edge finder. And this one kind of popped up. I wasn't looking for this type, but uh, uh, this popped up and it was intriguing and the, uh, the price was pretty good. So uh, I think it was $40. Um, so this one has a, a big hat shaped, uh, and I say hat shaped because looks like a hat kind of um, kind of an overhanging um, diameter here so let's see if I can uh, what do I have here um, yeah let's say you wanted to come in and well it won't quite reach and pick up on a diameter that was not accessible with a regular edge finder or uh, the other thing that ha uh, that happens occasionally is you have a large diameter like this and you need to come down the side of it and you need room between this and your shank uh, to get down uh, on the side of a large uh, a large round for example um, although you know you really want to be on the center line here uh, when you do that so you have to be a little bit careful but uh, um, this will allow you to do that kind of a thing too so so let's uh, uh, I haven't tried it yet um, and uh, let's pop over to the mill and let's give it a little swing and uh, and see what it looks like. This is the only thing I don't really like about it. Uh, I popped it out of the the uh, minimalist packaging that it came with, and uh, and I see this zinc plated Phillips head here, and it's kind of like, oh wow, okay, that's kind of hardware store esque, uh, or uh, you know probably could have used a button head there maybe it look a little bit better but uh, you know pretty minor complaint um, it also uh, had a little bit of little corrosion on here uh, it wasn't really uh, lubricated so maybe this was sitting on the shelf for a while I uh, don't know I measured this diameter uh, it's inch and a half um, and uh, it's within a couple of tenths um, um, of the diameter. So let's go try this thing. Let's see if it works. All right, so there's our edge finder. So I, um, just to clarify what I was saying a minute ago, so say you had something like this big mamaluka here, and uh, you had your kind of normal edge finder here like so, and you want to pick up the side of that, uh, you can see that you're not going to be able to do that, okay? Uh, with a standard, well, this is called the super jump here. This is actually a really nice edge finder. Um, so a smaller diameter one might make it, 
Um, this one will work here too. This is a general and it's a uh, half inch diameter and half inch diameter tip here, about 13 millimeters roughly. So this one you can catch this with, and that's why I have that one. Um, and you can also catch it with this guy here too. But like I said, it's, uh, it's got a narrow edge, so you gotta make sure that you're on the center line there. So uh, um, anyway, so that's kinda, actually, you know what, I'm gonna grab a, I think I have a small one. Let me grab a small one too, so. Yeah, uh, so this is, this is similar to this one here. Um, and then they have some that are a 3 ace body with a 3 ace uh, um, tip um, as well. But uh, so that one would not work either. Although you may be able to pop down and do it that way. No, that won't work either. Um, so anyway, let's try it out. All right, let's give this guy a go here. Um, I think. Since this is a larger diameter, we're going to want to run it a little slower than a normal edge finder because of the uh, the velocity at this larger diameter. So I got it about 600 RPM, about half what I'd run a regular edge finder. I just want to see how well it repeats, so I'm going to come up and... Let me try that one again. Okay. I'm gonna I reset the DRO. I'm gonna come up. Try it again and see how well it repeats. Let's uh Okay, yeah, I've repeated. Try that again. Yep, okay. So that's cool. Uh, Looked like it repeated nicely. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, how else can I demo this <laughs> that uh, is uh, helpful to you guys? So um, it's got a nice three quarter inch shank on it uh, that's pretty long. So you can, uh, you can hang it out a little ways. You can see that it's pretty long compared to a regular edge finder, and uh, so you could you can get a, a some hangout. Let's call it that. Yeah, you can get a little bit of hangout. Uh, so anyway, it looks okay. Uh, we'll try it out, and uh, you know, do a little lapping on the bottom there to make it look nicer, um, and see how this wears. Uh, I don't know how hard this is, but. Uh, uh, we'll uh, after we use it for a little while, we'll have to measure it again and see if it's wearing. So, uh, uh, you know, it's it's ro the the surface speed's pretty high out here, so that's why I'm thinking about that. Okay. Anyway, uh, eBay find and uh, check them out online. All right. So we're popped over here on the uh, the surface plate here, and we got a, some some goodies here. We'll take a take a look at. Um, I had some. As I mentioned before, I had some stuff laser cut, and um, um, what these are, these particular things, these are uh, um, counterweights for the four jaw chuck, and um, so I'll show you how those work in a sec. Um, basically, what you do is when you have an offset weight, you stack these up and, uh, and kind of counterbalance it. Um, what these guys are, these are for the etching press. Uh, these are bearing retainers. Um, the uh, lower bearings on the uh, on the frame um, will get these bearing uh, retainers. Uh, they get machined a little step in them, and uh, they'll bolt to the frame, and they'll retain the uh, the uh, spherical roller bearings on the bottom. So that's for the etching press. I was getting some stuff cut, so I said, "Oh, okay." All the stuff I've been saving up, I'll get uh, I'll get cut at the same time, and then it's just one trip down there. But let's uh, let's go take a look at the four jaw chuck, and I'll show you how those work on the on the four jaw. Okay, so I don't happen to have the uh, the four jaw mounted on the uh, machine right now, so we got to do this down here. But you see these slots off to the side here. 
uh, what happens with these is these fit in here like so and you know they're slotted so you can move them around a little bit okay and they fit between the jaw openings and you can stack them up as required in fact let's uh, I brought a stud over so it's got a little t-slot here and we can do that drop those on like so and let's just say we wanted a pile of them like that and let's say we needed even more we can put some of these little ones on there so you can kind of you can kind of tune the weight a little bit and uh, and get these uh, get your your offset balanced now I had a bunch of them cut because I'm gonna send some to a close friend of mine out in Florida and uh, who uh, does a lot of four jaw work <laughs> Uh, I'll let you guys guess who that is. So, anyway, that's the general idea. Uh, we're going to use these coming up um, to machine some um, bearing housings for the etching press that have a big offset to them, and uh, so we'll we'll use those to kind of balance the load. And you know, you, you can bolt almost anything you want on there. I like I said, I I was having some stuff laser cut. So I mean, look at that edge quality, right? Um, I was having some stuff laser cut, so I said, "Hey, what the heck? Let's uh, let's go snazzy on this and uh, and uh, do that." So, anyway, that's what those are about, and we'll use those pretty soon. Okay, so here's the last thing that I uh, that I was going to show you on the, on the laser cutting stuff. So these are these masking plates that go on here, and we got several flavors of these things. And uh, we were talking about these before uh, uh, measuring this this angle here. Now, you know, some guys pointed out that, gee, hey, it doesn't need to be precise, and they're absolutely right, it doesn't. But um, the reason I, you know, I ask myself questions like that all the time. Well, what if I had to measure that really, you know, as closely as I could, right? Um, so. To me, that was the fun part, was trying to measure that uh, uh, in a real accurate way. You know, in reality, this notch, as you'll see here, um, let's pop it on here. Oops. Um, see, let's pop that off. I wasn't quite, wasn't quite, wasn't quite ready there, Mr. Wizard. Um, the notch is, is oversized anyway, so we don't want this, uh, this index, the index pin. See, it needs to drop in there and mate with those really accurately, right? And we don't want this little, this little guy here uh, interfering with that process, okay? Get my act together here. Okay, so it's not it's nowhere near the pin. Okay, now the the one thing that needs to happen here is when this thing is retracted, we don't want this thing dragging on the teeth here, so it actually rides on that surface there, so it rides smoothly uh, as this rotates around. Oh, I'm just going to put that in. And then the other question that uh, some guys had, let me pop this off here. I probably could have made this whole a little looser. So this is this is what I did. It has index holes here so that you can orient this however you want in relation to the chuck jaws and stuff. And uh, so all I did was I had them laser cut a hole that happens to be a tap drill size for a small machine screw, a number eight here. Um, and the head of that actually just fits in there just nicely. So uh, um, I drilled and tapped that, ran that in, tightened it up, and then just pst, sanded it off flush uh, with the back so anyway now I got a set of masking plates how much I'll use them I don't know but you know it was kind of a, a fun exercise in uh, um, you know in layout I guess uh, and measuring so it's more of the, <laughs> the fun that I had with it so anyway uh, guys that, uh, that want a set of those um, what did they charge me for those um, I want to say these were 80 or 100, 80 bucks, 80 bucks, something like that, I think, for all those. These are steel. Um, 
I was gonna get stainless, then I said, eh, let's just make them out of steel. I don't think it matters, all this is steel, so uh, no, need to, no need to get carried away. So I'll do a little deburring on this, uh, tap all these holes, and make sure any uh, there's no flash on the inside so that it fits that. And then uh, when you're in use, you plop this uh, plate on there and it keeps it all, all the business in there. So anyway, a little update on that and uh, I'm gonna call that uh, good to go. Okay, so this one of those uh, plates. And, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, tap one. We'll use our little tapping block here. That looks like the right one. All right, and that holds it nice and square. Good. And screw. Okay, so I'll crank that down. And then uh, the, the bit that's sticking off of the back, I'll just sand that off. And, uh, and uh, anyway, that's my little uh, my little locating pin for uh, the index.